robbery suspects is in custody after leading police in a wild chase that ended at a mall. The pursuit ended at the target. The nation commemorates the 11th anniversary of the September 11 terror attacks on America. Honor Guard's somber ceremonies and tears of remembrance mark the day that nearly 3,000 people were killed in the terror attacks. KCAL 9's P Randall Pinkston shows us the gathering at Ground Zero in Lower Manhattan. Here at home, people are marking the 9-11 anniversary with a day of service. The Pat Tillman Foundation joined forces with a group called The Mission Continues as they help give back to the community. KCAL 9. Not everybody loves a sequel. Now the countdown is on to Carmageddon 2, the closure of the 405 linking West L.A. to the Valley. But it's not all doom and gloom. KCAL 9's Randy Page tells us that some businesses are offering deals and discounts to get you to eat, shop and play locally. So severely wounded in the war on terror. As he joined the nation today to commemorate 9-11, the Marine also started a new life. KCAL 9's Car Finstrom shows us he has a new high-tech home built just for him. Well, library cards are becoming the latest battleground over immigration reform. An L.A. City Council member wants to expand them for other city services. But as KCAL 9's Dave Lopez reports, others see it as a way to give undocumented immigrants a valid ID. Two sisters adopted by two different families have been reunited in Warwick, Rhode Island. Their story dates some breaking news. Uh, we just got word that there's been an attack at the U.S. consulate in Libya. One American has been shot and killed. We will have more information as it becomes available. Well, Apple's expected to unveil its newest iPhone tomorrow at a highly publicized event in San Francisco. A British teenager proves you don't need NASA to take out of this world photos. All you need is a cheap camera. 19-year-old Adam Cudworth uh, took some spectacular photos from space. Us here on KCAL 9 News at 9, there's more ahead. KCAL 9 News at 10 starts right now. Two of the nicer pieces he showed me today were these. Back-to-back -back Laker Championship rings, 2009-2010. It's hard to believe anyone parted with these, but they did. Retail value? Well, Anthony says they're priceless, and that's why they're not for sale.